Hey guys, it's Mackenzie. Um, so, a week ago, I went to New Brunswick. Well, I just got back a few days ago, but a week ago, I was about to go to New Brunswick and, um, you know, to visit family. Anyway, before that, I went to the mall and I went to Lush. So, um, I don't really buy a lot of Lush products. I just find that the scents don't really fit with my aesthetic, but luckily, I found two products um, that did, and I absolutely love the scents so much. I'm not a fan of a lot of Lush scents. They don't fit with my aesthetic very much. Um, I love them on other people, but personally, no. Um, anyway, um, the first product I got is a body wash, and it is called Sweetie Pie. It comes in a uh, recycled plastic white container, which is kind of weird for Lush because their containers are usually black. And if you can see on the bottom, it says not virgin engraved on the bottom. Um, I just kind of found that kind of funny. <laughs> um, anyway, so it says if a bar of soap and a bottle of shower gel had a steamy affair, this would be the resulting jelly baby. <laughs> so it is really, really, really jelly. And like, yeah, it looks like um, gelatin and it smells like literally wine gums. It is so yummy smelling, like I just love it. And it's actually sparkly when you take it out. Like you can use it as a bar of soap, but I prefer taking chunks off and using them. Um, but um, I just think that it's more like efficient to use it as a, the whole thing is like a bar of soap because um, I feel like little bits kind of fall out in the shower when you rip little chunks off and they go down the drain. So that's kind of wasteful. So I guess I might start using it as kind of like a bar of soap. Anyway, I love this product. Um, it's made out of seaweed. And um, yeah, it's just awesome. It's, it's shower jelly and, you know, it's, it's great. I love it. And um, yeah, I, just, I love that it's made out of seaweed because... I have really sensitive skin, so I really need to be careful about my body washes. Um, because if I use, like when I was a kid, I could never do bubble baths because they'd always just dry out my skin. My skin would be itchy and dry and it was just a nightmare. Um, and I also used to get eczema. I don't know about any more just because I use creams and stuff, like really good creams, which I will also make a whole other video about um, skincare and everything. But this is really nice and light on my skin and it smells amazing and I just feel so clean after getting in the shower, getting out of the shower, sorry. Um, and it just, it makes your bathroom smell amazing when you're done. And it was uh, $11.95, I think, in Canadian dollars. So um, yeah. Uh, for 250, 240 grams, sorry. Okay, my next uh, product that I bought is a sea salt shampoo. Um, and it is called Big. So it's like a, it gives you volume. And how to use, work a small amount into, into a lather and rinse thoroughly. Follow up with a Lush conditioner for soft tresses. Um, I don't use Lush conditioner. I continue to use my mane and tail conditioner. But this smells so good. It literally smells like fresh laundry, and I absolutely love it. It reminds me, um, before I moved into my new house, um, my family and I were living with my grandparents, and this is when I was, like, really little. Anyway, um, we all used this laundry detergent, and the whole house just smelled like laundry detergent, and it was so amazing. Like, I absolutely loved the smell, and when I smelled this, it literally just took me back. So I l just had to buy it. And it's white, and it actually has, like, sea salt in it. If I can, like, if this is focusing, hopefully. Um, but anyway, love this so much. And it, it just smells amazing. It lathers really nicely. It takes a minute to lather, but, like, I really do like it, and I like the way my hair just has so much more volume and everything and it makes my wavy hair like nice waves and like nice curls so um that's another thing if you're a girl and you have trouble like if your wavy hair gets like kind of frizzy and whatever but you still want the volume and you just want the nice waves this shampoo is absolutely amazing i've used it twice and i've had no complaints okay um that is it for what i purchased at lush and this was $24 I think it was really expensive I actually bought it by accident I thought it said $9.95 or whatever um, but I read the wrong sign of course you know typical typical me <laughs> um, and it's 325 grams so you know it is a lot but um, I, I do like it and um, 
you know, I'm, I don't know if I'd buy it again. I really need to continue to use that and see. Um, but so far I'm very happy with the results. Um, you know, a lot of, some conditioner gives me like dandruff and everything, but this, I seriously feel like it's just awesome. Um, so anyway, this is also really good if you have like thin, like brittle hair, like it, it's good for the volume and everything. If you have flat, like brittle, thin, not saying anything bad about people with thin, brittle hair. I'm just saying this might be good. Anyway. Um, I have had three other Lush, Lush products in my lifetime. Um, my first ever Lush product was a, um, shampoo bar. And there was this whole, like, fad going on where everybody was using, like, shampoo bars and no conditioner, um, called the No Shampoo Do, I think. And I was, I was doing that for a while, but I just did not like the smell of the shampoo bars and I just didn't like the way it was making my hair smell and it was overpowering and everybody could smell it and I just did not like that. I buy a lot of designer perfumes as you can see in my other video, my first video I have posted in years um, cause I'm back on but um, you know I just did not like that and I did not like that it was overpowering the perfumes that I was spending hundreds of dollars on. I don't know why I can't speak today. I'm actually really sorry. I just can't speak. I do not know why. I've literally tried to film this video three times and everything's been great except for the last time my camera wasn't focusing and now I can't fucking speak. Anyway, um, now I forgot what I was saying. Anyway, um, you know, I guess, I guess that's all, but other than my shampoo bar, I have had a breast firming cream, and it was $30 for, like, the little, little containers, like, the ones that are, like, this big and, like, this tall. Um, also, loved what the product was doing to my, my chest and everything, how it made my, my skin look. Was not a fan of the smell. I did not want to go out wearing that cream because it just didn't smell good. It was overpowering, and it just wasn't, did not fit with my aesthetic. So, um, and my last one is a lip balm that I actually do really like, and it was a gift from my friend. Um, my friend was my secret Santa, and she got me a Lush lip balm, and that's literally how I found out, because she's obsessed with Lush. And the smells go so well with her aesthetic and her personality, so, like, when you smell her, it's like, oh, like, that's her, like, you know? Um, but, anyway, it's totally awesome, and, um... I love the lip balm and it does wonders for my lips. So anyway, thank you for watching. Um, comment what you'd like to see next and subscribe. And I will talk to you soon.